What's going on guys, this is Mr. Lente, brand new video, welcome to my episode 6 of season 5 of Fear the Walking Dead review and breakdown. So this like episode had two major plot points and one kind of subplot, which we'll get into once we get into that section, but let's hop right into the first plot point of the episode. So this episode has June, Al, Alicia, and Morgan, and the kids fixing the plane. So the episode starts off with like kind of a cleaning up montage for the sisters and the brothers and basically all the kids, but mainly the sister. And the sister is the um, kind of leader of the group, and the rest of kind of like I I guess you could say the small army are in the other room watching like a movie she gets done kind of washing up and all the kids kind of get done and like they're all kind of like sitting around watching a movie until the girl or the leader character and everything gets kind of like a thing over the walkie-talkie basically saying from morgan saying oh like very vague like vaguely and everything saying how they're gonna get out of there and everything and then he says open the gates of like you know the gas station so she goes to open the gates and it's morgan and tons of other people with like obviously like not new people but like you know the usual people with cars like tons of vehicles and everything carrying in parts for like a plane like big parts and like all these like cool parts for like a plane that they're gonna build then morgan kind of has a bit like has a bit of a pep talk of like what the group and everything as they're kind of i guess you could say like putting the pieces together and everything slowly then after all of that morgan tries to get into contact with a bio suit lady but fails because she doesn't pick up the walkie talk we get to see her or anything but she doesn't pick up the walkie talk she kind of kind of ignores him but then morgan tries to practice with like his new kind of i guess you could say like stick and everything with like his jujitsu but he kind of realizes this stick is not the same so he goes into another like so he goes into this like kind of i guess you could say like broom closet or whatever inside the gas station and ends up finding some sticks or anything and tries to like you know stomp like one of like the like kind of i guess brushing end off of one like the broomsticks but then alicia comes around the corner and sees him doing this and she just starts to laugh or anything then then they kind of like both starts laughing it's you know after hours of work and everything al gets into the plane to test out to start up and everything and the plane actually does start up like it actually turns into a functioning airplane that like the um pedal is start like going and everything and everything starts up all the propellers start going but shortly after that and everything everyone's smiling everyone's like happy that the plane started but then the propellers start shaking and everything and that one of the i forget what her name is but she was nick's like old girlfriend or whatever she starts getting worried and basically says get she screams get down or anything and basically one of the propellers like flies off and almost basically fucking kills like someone then after all of that alicia basically like goes over and kills a walker that's entering the compound because as you guys know there's a, some, like, some holes in this like in the gas station fences but then before she could kill and Morgan comes and kills it with a brand new stick that he actually got from the broom closet. But then after a couple of minutes, he hears the bio lady over the walkie talkie basically saying that she needs a generator or a power generator from the gas station because she knows that they have one there because I think Morgan mentioned it sometime or she knows that they have like some form of power. So basically she needs the generator because get this, another one of the nuclear power panel like plants will melt down and basically like create more radiation or anything because it's almost out of power but the like the like generator will only last it for so long or anything which she tells them this and obviously everyone's like worried basically going oh crap we better get this done like the plane this generator and everything so morgan arrives on the road at the radiation stop or like kind of like the roadblock and everything and meets the girl then we kind of flash back to the station where al's trying to repair the plane until june like you know like um john's wife or girlfriend whatever comes into the plane and basically starts questioning al kind of about where like because obviously june kind of has this like a bit suspicion with al going like okay you, where were you because the story kind of doesn't, doesn't really stick in my head because it seems like something really did happen to you like did you see the people in the helicopter or whatever but then june kind of like it, 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 now don't get me wrong june's not like an ass this scene she's like oh i know you're lying it's kind of like a she wants her to like be like talk to her and everything and then we kind of go into the back of the plane or anything where tensions are rising between alicia and the, like the girl leader of like the kid militia and obviously the girl's kind of like very because she's i don't know why but she's always been really suspicious of like like this group and everything how they can't really help them or anything so eventually the girl snaps or anything towards like alicia and basically says you guys can't help us or anything we need to leave and basically runs into the gas station so alicia kind of follows her in and kind of just starts questioning her saying what's wrong like why can't you re why really can't you leave here and if you actually tell me i'll give you guys keys or anything you guys can leave which it's you know so the girl starts kind of talking and basically we get some backstory on what happened to the, all the adults and everything and how all these kids are together so basically as soon as the apocalypse started the girl her brothers and her parents and a bunch of other people with kids and parents and everything found this old cabin camp which is like the camp we saw when we first met the biohazardly i think two episodes ago or three episodes ago and they all went there and eventually like fast forward a couple months i guess since the apocalypse a herd starts approaching the camp and everything and all the adults basically say 
they get like start running everything out the back engines of the camp will fend them off with guns so like the girl leads all the kids out of the camp so after a couple of days of hiding from like the herd and everything and like making sure that like all the adults killed all like the walkers the girl goes back to the camp only her and everything everyone else stays back to find out that everyone like ev they killed all the walkers they killed the entire herd off all the walkers are dead but very unfortunately the girl and her brother's parents and all the other parents and got sick from radiation like sickness or whatever from obviously the melted down like thing so after kind of she gets done telling Alicia the story about her parents and like what happened while the kids are together Alicia basically gives her the keys and just says you do what you think is right and everything but please make sure you think about like your brother's safety and everything and are you scared of losing more people whatever and that's why you want guys want to be alone then we flash to Morgan and the girl back on the road and everything about to cross the border into the radiated area and everything and Morgan basically goes to the back of the girl's truck and everything and finds his old stick or his original stick and basically starts kind of like, like fiddling around with it and everything until the girl comes like to the back of the truck and everything and basically tells him to put it down and everything because it's dangerous or anything because it's all like radiated and everything so he puts it down and just kind of starts talking about some old stuff from like the walking dead kind of talking about i think eastman or whatever the guy who made him the stick and everything and how it's all special to him but then eventually the girl kind of goes to the front of the truck you know locks the car and everything and closes the door and basically says i have to do this alone or anything they kind of i guess you could say morgan tries to talk her out of it of doing it alone or anything but eventually she just says nope i'm doing this myself because i have to make up for everyone that basically died because of me they, morgan kind of obviously like tries to talk her out of everything but eventually she leaves and morgan is left there on the road pretty pretty sad but back at the station alicia and the girl are in the car like in this car and everything until they get a radio call from strand who basically tells them that they found a way to get back and to tell them to look up so kind of i guess you could say plot point two strand charlie and the two truck people back at daniel's kind of thing all alone because obviously daniel left last up well not like two episodes ago so basically they're trying to find a way to repair the plane that's already there and anything that got destroyed because like strand or anything decided to use it to basically kill walkers like a blender so back at the you know like daniel's like compound strand is getting very stressed i think because he's trying to figure out how can we fix this and everything and he ends up getting really stressed there's a bit of conflict but the truck people kind of snap him out snap him out of it and charlie thinks of a plan on how to get to them so this is kind of where plot lines kind of lie and everything like both like like major plot lines collide after strand tells him to look up alicia and the girl and everything look up into the sky and basically see strand and charlie in a freaking beer shaped blimp flying over flying over this mountain or anything they're kind of looking up really happy and everything strand's basically saying oh we're coming in or anything to get you guys we have a propeller like from like the plane or anything back at daniel's compound and they're like all really happy but then eventually strand basically says oh god because they start kind of lowering a little bit and everything strand basically says oh no we're out of fuel they just, everyone starts kind of like flipping out doesn't really help because it makes it really tense so alicia goes back into the station because to kind of get the kids and everything to say oh like you know we have to like they're coming or anything they're coming for us and all that but then she goes back into the station and basically finds that none of the kids are there and that they left she's obviously visibly very sad but then she starts to go back outside and everything to see the blimp basically starting to like really quickly like descend or anything so everyone's very worried everyone's like running around i think trying to figure out what to do but then the limb like the um blimp goes kind of like farther down than they can actually see it and basically everyone thinks that it crashed so then we see alicia alicia back on the road and everything basically getting out of a car and seeing a huge roadblock of walkers basically saying that the kids created and everything because obviously she's going to go find them because obviously they found a way to get out so she gets to the roadblock and it's keep in mind this roadblock is probably the biggest roadblock ever that the kids have created i think because it's a huge roadblock of like just a large amount of walkers she radios to morgan say she's going in basically past like you know some form of roadblock whatever and morgan radios back to her saying i am too and everything and morgan basically crosses the radiation you know thing to go look for the girl and everything the biohazard girl and that's kind of where their plot line and well there is a last scene or anything where basically you get to see charlie and strand crash and everything but near the power plant Meaning they're basically inside the radiated area, radiated area where they're basically probably going to meet Morgan and the biohazard lady next episode. And they kind of run away from all the walkers in the area because obviously they can't kill them, which Morgan tells them not to kill them or anything because some of them are actually like radiated. So let's move on to kind of the subplot of this episode. So the subplot like features John and Dwight and everything. Basically they're going, they're like John is helping Dwight trying to find Sherry and everything, trying to like find some clues. So throughout this episode, they kind of find some clues. Dwight kind of tells like, you know, John about like kind of where he's from or whatever. 
learn like, why he has to find Sherry. And he kind of even mentions Daryl very vaguely, basically saying the guy who like, sent me away and everything. But basically, the major point during all this is like all like all the finding clues, hopping around, and everything. Dwight actually like gaining hope and everything to finding her. They find this house like basically, and they go in. Like Dwight goes inside the house and because he's like, oh, she might be in here. There might be a clue in here. John searches a car outside, like right outside the like front of the house, and he ends up finding a note by Sherry and basically starts reading it and everything. Well, like Dwight's in the house and doesn't know that there's even like a clue here. He starts reading it and realizes that's a note from Sherry, basically telling Dwight to stop looking for her 100%, not in a bad way, but that she doesn't want to put Dwight's life in danger and everything, that she loves him and all this other stuff. So John gets very sad because obviously he's like, oh, if I found my love, I want John, like him to find his. And obviously he's very sad and everything. And obviously it feels like horrible for like Dwight and most likely Sherry also. So he basically is like finishing reading the note and then Dwight comes out of the house, basically like very happy and everything, saying she had to have been here, this food here and everything. And he asked John if he found anything. John lies and everything, obviously in like, because he obviously doesn't want to hurt Dwight and everything and all this other stuff. So the episode 100% ends there and everything. So let's hop right into the review. So this episode was actually really, like I actually really liked it. I mean, it was a bit slow, mainly because like the whole episode was basically just building the plane. But there's some interesting stuff with characters. I like the chemistry between like John and like Dwight and everything with them kind of working together to find Sharon and everything. Unfortunately, they don't. But although the process of building, build, like kind of building the plane, I think was slow. I did like I like every scene between it. I liked um yeah, just this episode was really good. I liked just pretty much everything about it and everything. Like I said, besides the slowness or anything, but I liked the ending scene also where um Strand and Charlie were flying the beer like blimp and everything. But yeah, this episode was really good and everything. It just definitely was a step up in action. Well. Last episode was good, but didn't have much action, all this other stuff and everything, and all that type of stuff. But it was dangerous this video. If you guys did, make sure to give you a big fat thumbs up. Make sure to leave your opinions down below in the episode. In my opinion or anything, make sure to just comment, subscribe, and everything. I'll see you guys later. Peace out, my amigos, and peace out.